Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to Insight. Now normally I only cover a handful of games on this YouTube channel, however, Insight is one of those games that is absolutely worth sharing, or at the very least I hope it will be. One of my favorite indie titles of all time is going to be a little game known by the name of Limbo, and Insight is actually developed by the exact same developers. So, this game has very high expectations for me. One of the things that Limbo did extremely well was the atmosphere, and it's not going to be like the longest playthrough, by the way, it's going to be apparently about three to four hours or so, but I hope that, you know, you will join me on this journey and we can see what the world of Insight is going to be all about. And maybe we can, you know, uncover some secrets. Anyhow, I think it is time to get started. So, oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I don't see my main character just yet, but apparently just pressing any button will make him appear. Oh, here we go. So one of the things that Limbo did extremely well was creating this really somber and, and, and solemn atmosphere and they did that not just you know by by the design and the audio and whatnot but they also had the you know entire game be in black and white now it looks like there's going to be at least a little bit of faded red as well as some very faded colors in general but the main aesthetic seems to still be black and white now i love this sort of i love this sort of design it looks absolutely incredible now in limbo I'm not gonna spoil the game for you, but in Limbo, we will slowly but surely uncover more and more about the world that we're in and about the situation that we find ourselves in, and... Was that a truck full of people? That most definitely looked like a truck full of people. Well done. So, in Limbo, you slowly but surely uncover more and more about what is going on in the world, and it looks like this is going to be the exact same type of story, which is incredible. Alrighty. Oh, they heard something. Oh, those light effects are awesome. <laughs> So obviously, I don't want to be called by any of these guys. I'm not entirely sure why they are wearing those creepy masks. But... We are in some sort of type... Or we're, we're in some sort of foresty area over here. And apparently... We basically... We basically... Oh, there we go. There's the truck once again. We basically just have to figure out a way to get through here. Now... I don't know where that truck is headed, or why... I, I believe there were people in the back at the very least. Um, now... I am certain that there are gonna be different kinds of puzzle elements to this as well, yeah. So exactly, right here, I have to make sure that I can climb over this wall, obviously. It looks like I can only do so... by pushing this, uh... This whatever it is, like, the fridge-like thing... against the wall, and there we go, okay. So indeed... That truck is going to be leaving right there in the in the background. I'm not entirely sure what is going on. Now I did see I did see the trailer of this game many years ago, and I wanted to be playing it back then as well because it looked insane. And um, I'm very happy to actually be playing it right now. I hope you're excited as well. <laughs> I'm such a nerd sometimes, I'm sorry. Well I'm really not sorry, but anyhow, well there's no turning back now. Ooh, looks like the dogs at the very least heard that. The sound design is incredible though. Um, oh, I think we can I think we can climb back up. Let's see if we can pull something down. Yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah, 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 nice. There we go. So we are definitely going to be puzzling here for quite a little bit as well. Now, I do want to warn you right off the get-go here. I may be pretty good at other video games that require a lot of skill and strategy. But sometimes the most obvious puzzles in games take me forever to complete. <laughs> I do want to warn you right off the get-go that I'm probably gonna be failing here quite a little bit, but... Just bear with me, okay? Oh man. Man. Those light effects are so cool. It's so realistic, yet it's clearly... 
Oh no, oh no, a dog. Run! <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Um, it, it, okay, we're gonna have to jump. We're gonna have to jump there. Oh man, all right, yeah, it's so realistic, yet it's so clearly a very, very artsy kind of style, right? Okay, here we go, here we go. Jump! Whew! I did not actually think we made that jump the second time around either, but it looks like we caught onto some tree branches. Apparently that truck in the background is currently following me around. Oh man. This looks incredible. So, I wonder what is going on here in the world. Because, all we've really found out thus far is that something something is horribly wrong. And I think those were people that were just being shipped off in the back of a truck. On top of that, we saw those guys with the masks, right? Oh man. Oh man. And there's also a truck following us about. Oh no, they're, tri <gasps> they're trying to look for me. I'm gonna hide, I'm gonna hide. Good call. I think that was indeed the good call. Because them catching me is probably a pretty terrible idea. Okay. No, I haven't given up just yet. Oh man. I don't see anyone just yet. You think I can... I can run for it? <gasps> oh no! No! No, go, no, go, no, go, no, go! No! Okay, so... Those people... Are no good. We've learned that the hard way. Okay, we'll have to jump here. Jump! see anything. Oh man. What is going on with these people? I'm just a little boy. I am just a little boy. Okay. Step one. Jump. Now we need to hide here somewhere. There we go, there we go. No, Loco, you Loco, Loco, no, 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 What's wrong with these people, man? Why would you break my neck like that? All right, all right, now we know, now we know what to do. Did we make it? Oh man! Oh man! Oh. Okay. No! Did I drown? Loco, why would you- Okay, no no no, we didn't drown. Okay, okay, at the very least we got back to the point where we just ended. That's good. That's good. Alright, so I can indeed swim. That is awesome. I just have to be careful that I don't run out of breath. Now, obviously, over time, these puzzles that we are experiencing right now are gonna get more and more difficult. I think I'm gonna have to go underwater. Look at those lighting effects, though. That is so cool. Now, I'm a big fan of these types of games, like Limbo, like Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, like those kind of titles. They are so worth checking out, like they are so extremely good. 
Okay, now it looks like we do it. Oh! We do have to go back ashore here, but there's dead pigs. What's going on with the dead pigs? Did they drown? But I'm such a big, like, big fan of those... Those story-driven games that... It's like almost, it's almost like an art form, you know? Like, while there's many games out there that try to give you... You know, the best multiplayer experiences and... They're trying to make sure that you get the very best, uh, you know, uh, storylines and all that. These kind of games are, feel a lot more like like a certain art form, you know? There's only a, really one, one reason to play through it, and that is to experience the story once. And to really be immersed into the world. So, we're in a cornfield, where the corn apparently is growing about, I don't know, four or five times the height of myself. What was that? What is that little shimmering thingy there? What are those things? Are those chicks? They're little chicks! Alright, well, we'll just get walking. Not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. I think those are indeed little chicks. Oh! What's up, little buddy? At least you guys have still some color in you. Because our shirt is, is slowly fading towards gray. Oh man, more dead pigs. What is going on? No, don't be scared. They're all coming this way. I have no idea. They still seem lively enough at the very least, but they seem to be following me. Oh, can I jump here? Oh, I'm sorry, chicks. Looks like we're gonna be leaving you and me. Oh, I can swing? Oh, that's good. Okay. We'll swing a couple times. I need to go that direction, though. Okay. They did definitely get the atmosphere right again. Now, there's a pretty clear lever here. Can I open the door by any chance? Come on, chicks! We're heading inside! Can you get- oh yeah, they do come inside. That's awesome. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this place is. Or what is going on in the world, for that matter. Well, it looks like we have arrived successfully at the first puzzle. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's only really... There's only really a handful of things we can control. Huh. I'm probably gonna have to push something or, 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 like, jump somewhere in order to make sure that we're gonna be fine. Now, I can only push this in one direction, and there's not enough steam here. Hmm. What we can do... is try and head back to the, uh... Whatever this is. Back to the, the second level, I guess. And see if there's anything we can potentially grab over here. Although it doesn't really necessarily look like it, does it? There is electricity in this building, though, so there's that. Oh! Does that work? Oh, I just had to pull it several times. Oh! There we go.
Wait. Am I supposed to... Am I supposed to put the chicks in there? Oh no! I feel like a terrible person. Okay. I don't know if this is the right thing to do, guys. But it most definitely seems like I'm supposed to suck up those chicks into the machine. It didn't hurt him! It did not hurt him! Thank you, boys! Appreciate it! I appreciate it! Here, you guys have food now as well. I thought for a second I would kill him there. Now, I know that chicks are relatively resilient, but I don't think they're going through a machine and being spit out by said machine kind of resilient. I don't think, I don't think that is, that is correct. More dead pigs. Uh, I don't think I want to jump here now, do I? No, can't confirm. They would not want to jump towards the dead pigs. I probably could have assumed that. Hmm. Now, I can only walk left and right, by the way. It's not like I can walk around on the rest of this roof. I think it's gonna be possible to, um... Oh, man. Do you think it's possible to just simply jump into that cart? Because that does seem to be hay, right? Right where the pigs are, are lying? I don't know if it's possible. We'll just try it. Oh! Oh man. That pig is completely stiff. He's not moving an inch. Oh well. There we go. Slowly but surely making progress here. Now, while we have definitely come across a whole bunch of dead pigs and some really creepy, creepy scenarios, I mean, look, there's like a gigantic worm moving out that whatever that big beast is. And while we are seeing that the world is apparently slowly but surely becoming one gigantic mess, we have not figured out any reason to see, like, why, you know, like, can I climb this? Oh, I can, nice. But we have absolutely zero reason to see why this is happening and what is going on. Ugh. It looks like it has been raining for a little while already, though. Dude! You have a thing walking out of your... What? You literally have a worm the size of, like, my lower body. Oh! Thank you! Thank you! Can you stop? Okay then. I'm sorry, Mr. Are you friendly now? Whatever was that thing, dude? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Pig. Now, what in the world are these people doing here? My god. Are they alive or are they dead? They seem to be- No, they are moving. This guy right here for most definitely... He is most definitely moving. He almost seems to be in some sort of trance or... He seems to be in some sort of... 
state where he just simply can't control himself or something. I don't know, he seems to be praying almost. Oh well, I think I figured out what I need to do here. Oh wait, what? Oh, this is like a good. Okay. So I can now control where these humans are going? Okay, I'll get to this one. Get to this one. There we go, there we go. Okay, you guys maybe lock yourself out then? I have to find out a way. I can control all of them at once, but not a single one at a time. I have to figure out a way to make them all walk into... Into, into the wall at the same time. Um, so my idea here was to move this thing. But I don't think I can I can do that either. Is there anything I can do over here to make it easier for them? Now there are definitely some sort of zombie things going on here. Like these people definitely are not what I thought they were. They were definitely not praying to say the least. Yeah, we need to we need to have all four of them in order to move this one, but I'm trying to figure out if there is a way I could possibly connect them all four to this door at the same time. What if I make them hold it? Oh, there we go! Oh, nice! Woo! Okay, there we go. We've made all four of them control the thing at the same time, and with that, we can push away whatever this thing is. Or... Pull it away. The world is a somber place, and things are a little bit weird. They're not dead, nor do they seem to be very alive either. And we are in the end just a little boy, right? I mean, this is this is all we've had, all we've got. Oh, nice. We are pretty powerful. Hey, there's some light. There is some light, and there's a little bit more color. I am not entirely sure if things are looking up, or if there is any kind of progress here whatsoever, but... At the very least, things look to be a little bit nicer. Nice. Oh man, what is this? These people are just standing there in line. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what they are up to. They're all zombies, man. What? What? Are... Okay. I guess we'll figure out slowly but surely more and more about these people and what exactly there is happening. Can I grab this? Looks like I can. There we go. We are pretty strong for a little boy, though. Okay. Can I see anything? There's a chair here. How can I can I grab that chair anyway? Oh. We can just pull the we can just push the uh, the window open. Oh, once again, little tiny chicks. Although these don't want to stay close to me whatsoever. So, people are lining up outside of this building. For God knows what reason. I'm not entirely sure. Although this area seems to be significantly bigger than the previous ones we've come across thus far. And apparently there's also going to be separate levels. And this is probably going to be something a little bit more tricky. Okay. 
That makes a heck of a lot of noise. Let's just go up a little bit more, see if we can figure out what's going on here. Do you think we can jump that? Doesn't look like it. If I move it all the way down though, I probably can. Can I... Can I jump it right now and then potentially climb up through the rope or something? Would that be possible? Can I not just like walk over to that rope? <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it to the very top here, and we'll walk downstairs really quickly to see exactly what's going on. So where do I fall into? Oh, nothing too much. Okay, let's go back towards the previous room here. There is a rope right there that I'm most likely I'm going to be capable of getting. And there's also this other thing that will, like, look, this thing right here will probably need to drop down. We need to probably push this down. Can I use the birds? Looks like these birds were locked up at some point, but they aren't anymore. They are all landing backwards, though, like they're all getting back to the ground, but... I don't think I can do anything with those. Now, there's a rope over here that I currently cannot climb. Is there anything that I could potentially bring down towards the the low ground, right? Is there anything I could potentially bring down? Now, I don't think I should drop down that day, or that way at the very least. The only thing I can really move here is this thing. But it doesn't really give me a whole lot now, does it? Oh! I just found out I can actually move this. I can actually move these... Oh, I can actually move that thing around. I'm not entirely sure if that's gonna be useful, but I can... I can turn it. Okay, hold on. Would that make it easier for me to jump? Potentially? Hold on. I think I can jump this now, right? Oh, there we go. Nice. Alright, I didn't realize you could turn the thing as well as, like, lift it. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's it. Now, there seems to be a hole right there in the ground. If I drop this thing down, it probably will break that. I think. I was correct in saying that, I also did not realize that it probably would break the plank that I was currently standing on. This is the reason why in apocalypse situation I probably wouldn't survive for very long. Oh, get out of there! Get out of there, loco! Woo! Okay. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Let's head down, let's head down. Don't you worry. You won't die from these. It looks like you only have two states, little boy. You either die or, or you, you live. You don't take any damage or, or, you know, nearly die. No such thing. Well done. Ooh. What's this? Oh. Oh, what's this? Uh... I'm not entirely sure if I just broke it or if I just fixed it. Anyhow, it's not going to go back in its original position, that's for sure. Well then. I can lift the door up and down. Looks like there's another one of those mind control things. Do you think I can jump into it? Looks like I can. Totally not creepy at all. Wait, these work in mirror. Oh man, these walk in mirrors of each other?
What am I? S oh, there's pressure plates. There are pressure plates there. Thing is, I need to position them properly. So here's what we do. Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out. We'll pull the lever once again. Otherwise, I don't think they will line up properly. There we go. Doesn't that just fix it? Hold on, walk all the way to the end. There we go. Nice! I'm sorry guys, had to take control of you for just a little bit. I hear someone. Do I hear someone or do I hear a machine? There, there's something, there's something in the background. Oh, look at that. Oh, down there, there's people. Uh! Got it. There's actually, there's actually a ladder right here to the right, to the left. More birds, but... I can't... Oh, hold on. I want to go back real quick. I want to go back real quick. See if I can... See if I can jump that ladder. There we go. I did not mean to do it like that. I did not mean to drop down from the ladder. I just simply pressed control. But we had another one of those bolt type things. Not entirely sure if they... Um, if they are like like bonus objectives or, or like... Loco! Loco, don't jump that. You shouldn't be doing that, sir. That, that's a bad idea. I think there must be something like something bonus objective related or something. Because I think I need to follow the main road here to the right. Okay, don't fall too far. Oh, don't go too far. Ooh, there we go. Okay. And now just climb. Now just slowly but surely climb down. Alright. We keep breaking things. And I keep on unlocking more and more, uh, more and more achievements. There's some sort of jukebox right here in the front, but... I'll go ahead and just climb back out of this place and continue onwards where I was supposed to go. I think we did just get a bonus objective though, which is really, really nice. Ooh, nice. Very good. Okay. These birds are hella fast. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Ooh, a slippery roof. Man, you gotta have pretty fast responses here in order to not just randomly die. Turns out I'm a pretty vulnerable little human in a big world. But those people are marching to something, right? That's just the sound of people marching to another place. Look at them. Because that is completely not creepy at all. None whatsoever. Okay. Where are they headed, though? That's the real question here. Can I can I break this? Uh, I most definitely can. Okay. Looks like we once again are on the inside here somewhere. 
Ooh, is that a frog? Or like a rat or something? Or well, something at the very least. Oh no. I can't make that jump. Can I? I don't think I can make that jump, can I? This is all very, very dark. Makes it very difficult to see exactly what is going on here. Could I be grabbing anything? Well, it looks like this is what we got and what we need to work with. Oh! I could grab the ladder. There we go. We got a smart little boy here. Is that a dead person right here in front of us? I have no idea what this is right What is this? These people are connected with wires. Can I climb this? No, it, uh, okay, fine. I think we have to pull that lever that we just saw before entering this little area, but I'm not entirely sure what will happen once we do. These people start once again moving. And these robots apparently are trying to do something here as well. What are these things? Oh man. What do I do once I'm actually in the elevator lift type thing? Okay. We press the button. Sweet. This makes me think of the... I don't know her name anymore, but but the uh, the the main uh, the main enemy in Portal. You guys remember Portal? Another one of those games you need to have played. Now there seem to be some sort of caretakers at the very least. Now, apparently the animals, such as that seagull over there, aren't affected by it. But there seem to be some sort of control. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! Don't mind me! This is also giving me some, uh... I don't remember what that movie was called anymore. But it's giving me vibes of, of a movie where they're trying to take control of the population. Oh man, what's going on there? Why are these... Okay, we have to jump. We have to jump three times. Oh no. More than, more than three times. Why are these people looking at us? I'm not a freaking zoo animal. I jumped too early, didn't I? Oh no, I didn't. Nobody noticed the thing. What are they doing over here? Oh, they're turning around? Okay. Okay. I can I can make circles. Woo! There we go. I would make an excellent zombie, I just found out. Now they aren't still completely co oh. <gasps> No! Broke ye Oh I didn't mean to do that! 
I did not mean to do that, dude. That scared me. Okay, fine. So we figure out real easily whether or not we're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. That's for certain here. Because apparently if you uh, mess up for even a second, they will immediately electrocute you to death. Now, they seem to do some sort of quality control or something. They seem to be doing some sort of quality control here. Okay. There we go. Now just don't touch any more buttons, Loco. Just walk. Okay. Apparently they still believe me. Is that the spotlight off of me? Nope. What are those people in the background doing? Oh man. What? I haven't done anything! Um, okay, I think we'd have to run. I think we have to rethink that part and just run. As soon as the dog starts growling, I'll try it once more. If he turns on his torchlight, we'll run. Run, 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 run. Get out, get out, get out, loco. Woo More zombies. Oh man, the dog is hunting me. No way. It just snapped my neck as well. What? Okay, um, would there be a way, for example, to blend in with the people here? Maybe we have to jump down here again. Oh, no, no, no. It was a good idea. It wasn't valid. Maybe we should do the same thing as we did with the pig, where we ran over him and, like, jumped right at the same time. Although a pig seems to be significantly easier to jump than a dog. Oh no, this doesn't work at all. Um, what could I do? Oh, there we go. There we go, there we go. We can basically just delay him by standing on the low ground for a little while longer. Uh, okay. Oh, I thought for a second we were gonna kill the dog by dropping this thing on him, but no. Apparently, whoever we just zombified again is now going to be helping us out. Good guy, zombie. Thank you, Mr. Zombie. Appreciate it. I'm probably gonna need this chest. Can I jump that? Ah. Oh. I've got a pressure plate over here. Okay, no, I know what to do now. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to, we have to make sure we once again take control of the guy here on top, because he can't continue onwards, and we need him to. And I need to make sure that I can jump this. I can jump this thing. So here's what we do: we walk him backwards until right here. Oh no! Oh no! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Then we move this thing onto the pressure plate, which will open up that door, and then we can continue onwards, I think. There we go. That's it. 
Yep. Oof. Okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that is it. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm not entirely sure if this is gonna work out or if the machine is just simply too big, but it looks like it isn't. It can indeed work out. Ooh, there's some sort of winding staircase here. What is this thing? Looks to be a pressure plate right up there. Do you... Yeah, you can. How am I ever going to be doing that? Can you grab anything over here by any chance, sir? It doesn't look like it. Um... I don't think I can walk down this staircase either. Uh, no, bad idea, Loco, bad idea. Alright, so I have to... I have to somehow, some way... I have to somehow, some way, activate the pressure plate up here, which will open up the door right there. But that door closes much too quickly for me. To actually properly go through that. But the thing is, if I bring this thing all the way over here already... I don't think I will have the time. Now it does... It does keep sliding though. But not very far. What if I would, like, push it and try to get up there? You think that would work if I would take a really wrong, long run? I'd have to be extremely rapid, though. I think it would be easier if I do it from this direction, so I can just push onwards in one straight direction. Okay. We need to run! We need to go fast! I don't know if we're going fast enough for this, to be honest. <laughs> Not even remotely close. Hold on. Maybe I can push faster than I can pull. I don't know if that is true, but... Uh, it's not particularly fast either now, is it? <laughs> it would work like that, but I need, I need something to keep moving. I need something to keep this thing moving, and... I'm not entirely sure what I could use for that. I mean, I can... I can run all the way from right here, but I don't think he, he has any, like, I don't, I don't think he's any faster from right here. The dog is still hanging out over there. What's going on, Mr. Dog? That again. Yeah, no, this is just, this is just the fast he's gonna move. Then again, why is that little drop-off area there, right? I wouldn't actually need that if it wasn't for the fact that I... Was gonna be capable of doing something here. Wait, 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 wait! Hold on, hold on, now I'm looking at it. Is this actually... Is this actually another controlling type, like, device over here? Hold on. Let's see. Okay. For real, there's another one coming out of the box? Wait, what? Now we got... One of these zombies controlling another one of these zombies? Hold on. No, no, no. Now we... Oh, now I get it. Alright, alright, I get it. Now I need to drop down out of this one myself. He's gonna sit on there, then I jump back up, take control of this guy. And then we're gonna be able to push through. Oh, man. Alright. Oh, I see. That definitely was a little bit on the trickier end, but that is really well done. Nice. Um, not entirely sure if we want to drop down there. Oh. Do I want to drop down in there? Because I can. I can! 
Oh man. That seems like a risk. Uh It is, yeah, that is definitely what we do need to do, but I just need to make sure I'm a little bit more on the left there, or like on the left end of that part. Hold on. I gotta make sure I'm actually above it though, because obviously I could easily fall on the, uh, on the pavement right next to it. There we go. They're all running. There we go. Quickly now, quickly now. Nice.